Hello and welcome back to Beam NG Drive. I'm David in Ark, and today, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have reached the final stage of the Parkour 3 course by Spencer Johnson. Now, the previous videos, I've been taking the entire run of everything for that whole section and cramming it into a sped up video. Uh, and I consider doing that for this video. However, I'm going to tell you that this section of the map, not this specific red track, I mean the entire track part, <laughs> I'm ashamed to say, took me over four hours to complete. Now, part of that does include a couple of places where I had to pause and walk away and come back. Um, part of that also includes, well, a lot of frustration. However, it still took four hours for me to complete this course. And I, I just, <laughs> there was no way for me to uh, record that. I mean, I recorded it. There was no way, there was no good way for me to make a video uh, if I was going to, you know, speed up the footage or do any of that kind of thing and, and do it any justice. I mean, it would have gone by so quickly, you would have missed everything. So instead, for the most part, uh, I'm actually going to show this to you in real time, and I'm only going to stick with the runs that actually go from the platform to the end of each of the sections here, just so you can see what it looks like, frankly, to complete the sections. Now, uh, if you're not familiar, if, you, if this is the first time you've seen one of these, essentially Spencer Johnson, who is a crazy whiz of a map maker, came up with this particular map called Parkour 3. And the idea is you have to start way down at the bottom at the starting line, and you work your way through a series of parkour challenges. And I have been working my way through those over the last series of videos. This one is the final series. Now, ultimately, uh, what I hope to do is compile all of my runs into one long video and submit that because uh, you can get your name and time on the leaderboard for this map. I don't anticipate that I'll stay at the leaderboard, but you know what? It'll be nice to be one of the first ones, or at least I hope one of the first ones. In the meantime, we made it to the top of the pink section, and now we move on to orange. Now, there's a problem I have with loop-de-loops. And that is, generally speaking, when it comes to any type of loop over, I've, I usually have to do it in first person. Now, as it turns out, that particular one um, is spread out enough that I was able to do that in the regular third person orbit camp. You will see in a future segment that there's, there's pretty much no way, although I did kind of figure out a way, and we'll talk about that later, uh, that I was able to do that and not have to be in first person. In the meantime, we are here on the orange track, and if you're not familiar with how this particular segment works, um, this is done with the track editor, the track builder that actually comes with BeamNG. You can create any of these kinds of tracks using the track editor, uh, track builder in BeamNG. Uh, the, and essentially, I've got several tutorial videos on how that works. You can feel free to go check those out uh, after you watch me get through this entire track section of the Parkour 3 map. Ultimately, it's rough, <laughs> let me just tell you. Uh, especially in one of the sections coming up, um, I, I, I spent, there's a yellow section, and, and honestly, off the top of my head, I can't remember where that shows up in this video. Um, but there's a, there's a yellow section, and you can see it off in the distance there. And uh, it was very frustrating. I probably spent two hours on it alone, at least. I, I would say at least. I've not gone back to measure uh, each segment yet. Uh, I'll be putting that all together. Speaking of putting things together, I plan to do 
a compilation video that is going to show the only the successful runs throughout the entire parkour three uh, course so you can see which of my runs uh were successful in in getting through each segment of the parkour three course by the way uh if you are so interested <laughs> Uh, Neological and Komodo and the whole gang of BeamNG multiplayers has been playing on this parkour course. Uh, they've got several videos out that they've been doing, and it is hilarious. You definitely want to check that out. Uh, it's been so much fun, me going through this and then and then turning around and watching them uh, kind of try to figure it out, A, on their own, but also working together. That, and I will tell you, that's a huge advantage that they get to work together to push each other through some of these difficult segments. As you can see here, the twists and turns can really, really get to you. And this is not just a, uh, you know, run through as fast as you can kind of thing. Okay, so here comes yellow. So here's what I did with yellow. With this yellow segment here, uh, I went ahead and I sped up the run because even the the the, the regular playthrough timing on this uh, took forever. Oops, oh, I didn't realize I left that in. Okay, well, so you are going to see some of my mistakes, which is fine. You know, I, I made a lot of them. Like I said, I think I took about two hours just to get through this particular segment alone. Um and this is sped up, and I and I can't remember how fast I've got this sped up, but you know, you can see even sped up, this is not a fast run through this course. This was so frustrating; <laughs> it really, really was. Uh, and and it's just it's a matter of uh, taking your time, uh, figuring out the angles of attack, and uh, hopefully putting yourself in a position that you can take corrective action for those times that you've already seen here where, you know, one of the wheels goes off, like right there, as a matter of fact, you know, where one of your wheels kind of falls off or uh, you lose balance or in your frustration, you slam on the gas and forget that, you know, there's pretty much a 90 degree turn coming up i.e. right here, 90 degree turn. Now this one I could actually get through pretty decently, but this little jog right here, this right turn followed by a right turn followed by that hook back around to the left, I, it took me forever to be able to get through this. Um, again, you're seeing the one successful run um, that I had. Oh, okay, so in here, this took forever. Uh, this is one of those things where uh, I positioned the truck, and I kept using forward and reverse and, and moving my wheels around and eventually um, was able to get my truck in a position where I could continue. I can't even tell you, uh, well, yeah, I can because we just talked about it. But this is, like I said, I mean, this is at least two hours of, uh, after, you know, playing around. And really at this point, um, I probably should have just started over and called it good. I just didn't want to. I just, I kept thinking there's got to be a way for me to work myself loose from this particular predicament. And as it turns out, I was right. I was able to work myself loose and then carefully figure my way around this bend. The real kick is that, um, as you are playing on these various levels and working through the various puzzles and solutions. When you come across the solution, when it finally works for you, everything comes together. For me anyway, a lot of times I was like, man, was I dumb. I was working way too hard to accomplish, you know, the particular goal for that particular map. Uh, and so uh, you know, that was the hardest part getting through those. And then here we come down through here, come around and then work our way up through this kind of, uh, slinky graduated thing. And boom, we find ourselves at the green track. <clears throat> now the green track, um, was, <laughs> that's funny. I really thought I cut all of the wrecks out. Obviously not. Um, but uh, th this green track, if I remember correctly, it's pretty straightforward. 
Um, well, I, ta- I, I take that back now that I'm looking at it. Uh, there, as you, as you come through that first part, come around here, you've got this giant dip followed by that pretty, uh, strong curve to the left. And so this takes a combination of braking and steering, and then also not braking, you know, actually accelerating through the curve. Uh, this one, this curve here is not bad. The problem is the curve that's coming up. So you get your truck leveled out and then it hooks it back around the other way. And here I really thought I was off. Uh, that is a miracle right there that my truck kicked itself around so that I ended up facing the right direction. So as you work through this map, make sure that you, you know, you just have to practice. You have to watch your speed. Sometimes you accelerate through the, the particular puzzle. Other times you just have to baby crawl and it is oh, it's just so crazy. This was one of the most frustrating parts in here um, because right in here, about right here, um, the, the track goes up pretty much 90 degrees on the right side. And many times your truck ends up on its side, not going anywhere. However, we made it through. And now we work our way to the baby blue track. Oh, and again, this is another one where it just, it, it, it a, it's a long track and B, uh, it can get very frustrating. You see there that the way that track is tilted, you got to get around that. And then, uh, you got to get up this particular incline after the fact um, the kicker about this is though now you've got this track that's going to hook around back to the left and it has got a pretty significant bank to it so trying to work things out now one of the things that i have not talked about oh my gosh uh at all i don't think in this particular series is that i play with a keyboard and mouse um and of course, when I'm driving, it's just keyboard. I use the mouse to move the camera around. But when I'm when I'm playing BeamNG, I'm I'm old school, very old school, and so I play with the keyboard. And I can tell you that if I if I would learn to use the controller, this probably would have gone much better. Um, because with a controller, you have much more control. Uh, over the amount of pressure that you're putting on things like your acceleration, your turning, whereas with a keyboard, uh, you know, you're either pedal to the metal or you're not. And just as, as a way to give a helpful hint, um, really for any time you're playing BeamNG, um, in order to emulate that slow kind of uh, increase that you see or, or some of that control that you see when you're using a controller, to emulate that on a keyboard, essentially you kind of have to to tap the key. So, for example, I may be tapping the accelerator so that it's not flooring it, but it's just giving these kind of little gentle nudges. This right here is probably one of the scariest moments for me in this particular level because my truck was wanting to slide off so badly. And your instinct is to, you know, turn against the slide and, and gun it. But the problem with that is, especially in this truck, that kicks your back end out and you will go flying down into the abyss and have to start all over again. So you want to watch those kinds of things for sure. But in this particular case, we make it to the top of this run here and move into the next section which is the purple track. And this track is actually very short. Uh, as you can see, looking ahead, we have three loops in front of us, and then we have three twists over to the left side. And this uh, is where I, I, I mostly was having to do this in first person view, but what I ultimately figured out that I could do is set a relative cam positioned just like you see here, which gives me a, a mostly first person view, but kind of over the shoulder still without the orbit cam, you know, rolling and going all over the place. And I will tell you, this corkscrew right here is a nightmare. It is a nightmare. You really don't know where you're going. You're not real sure where things are. And it twists so hard and is so stretched out that 
for me anyway, that was one of the most difficult uh, parts to get through. And then we come to the pink section. And the pink section here is the final section. This is the final approach that you will take uh, in order to finish the Parkour 3 map. And it's got a couple of uh, hairy places now, I will tell you, for the most part. And again, if I had a controller, if I, if I was a controller guy, I would probably not, ha it would not have taken me anywhere near as long. Because this section here is a spiral that is climbing. With a keyboard, uh, you essentially have to go straight, turn, straight, turn, straight, turn, straight, turn. I can't turn and go straight at the same time with a keyboard. Um, with a controller, I would have had much more uh, possession over how the truck was behaving. As you come up around here, though, the thing that ends up throwing you off is this right here. There's that little stretch, right? You've been so accustomed to going around in circle, 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 that when that stretch comes out, it can throw you off, or it threw me off anyway. Then you come up to the crest of the final approach. And here, it took me a long time to figure out what the secret is, at least for me. The secret for me, oh, I'm sorry, we're not where I thought it was. <laughs> well, it's a fake hill, sorry about that. Uh, you wanna be careful with this. <laughs> wow, I, I forgot that there was the, I, thought, I forgot that was a, a, it was a, it was a false fade, as we said in radio. All right, so anyway, we're going to get around here. Now, I will tell you this here. This is a double uh, kind of whoop-de-doo. Uh, you want to be careful with the initial approach, but then after that, you can just accelerate the whole way through. I've got the gas pushed down. I'm not you know, I'm not letting go of the gas. You're not going to fly off once you go down that initial uh, kind of fall off there. Um, I, yeah, I don't know how I forgot about I know how I forgot about this. <laughs> so uh, we're going to come around here. And now, as we come around this corner, this is going to take us around. And if I remember correctly, um, no, okay, it's good. I, for some reason, I was thinking that it, it got just as hairy as that other uh, curve, but it does not at all. This this is actually was pretty decent. Uh, we are still continuing to climb up in a semi-spiral. And this will take us, if I'm not mistaken. Well, okay, no, there is, okay, so it, it does kind of spiral. And, and you see that the, the track uh, does get some tilt to it there. Um, but I will say the track itself has some decent grip. Just got to be careful like we did there. Whoop, and there too. <laughs> uh, just got to watch yourself. And honestly, I'm probably using the wrong angle at this point. I should have kicked my camera out to the passenger side so that I could watch that front tire. And that would have uh, that would have helped me uh, a little more. But after I'd done this so many times, I just got used to where the truck pretty much needed to be. Obviously, I ran into a couple of issues, but still, in the scheme of things... It, it all worked out. Now, here is where we come to the final approach. And this is what I was going to say earlier. For me, what worked, and it took me a long time to get to this point, uh, is to seriously just put the pedal to the metal and keep accelerating and watch your steering. You want to try to keep your truck between the lines, and then you just haul off, send it, and hope that you can get to the middle of the bullseye, which luckily... Boom, baby, right into the finish. And that is where we ended up in the Parkour 3 map. The entire map finally done with this thing. <laughs> I, I, I cannot tell you, I, I don't know, the, the, the amount of just stress and anguish and frustration and honestly, the, the elation of successfully completing a section that you had been working for and working through, I, I can't tell you. It is, it's very, very rewarding. I'm pretty sure at one point my wife was like, I think you're spending more time on that than it took you to do Far Cry 6. I, I think she's about right. <laughs> so anyhow, so I will put together the entire video and submit this to Spencer and hopefully 
we get to see my name on the leaderboard, assuming I did everything correctly. I hope I did. Um, but uh, as I mentioned earlier, I will also put together a compilation of the good runs so that you can see in one video the complete course being completed. All right, so there you go. Thank you so much for watching. Got any questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories? Feel free to leave those down in the comments section below. Special thanks to Hero of God, Gamer Gall, Los Wilco, Connie C, Zachary, and 7220 Gamer for supporting me on Patreon and through channel memberships. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'm David and Ark. We'll see you next time in Beam and G Drive. Have a great day.